The public's response to the fire when it happened was just like off the scale. It was like incredible. I remember two hours into the fire, Stella Duffy, who's an artist and writer, did a hashtag on Twitter, which is hashtag BAC Phoenix, which went immediately viral and went all the way around the world. And as new countries woke up, there was like a whole new wave of people who were like sending supportive, loving tweets. And right from that moment, I guess, it felt like we were going to make the best of this, even though it was a horrific thing to happen. I remember three weeks in, one of the things that was really challenging about the Grand Hall was that the gable ends of the hall were waving in the wind because it was uh, basically a dangerous structure and we couldn't get in there and we couldn't find someone to pin it to make it safe. This guy walks in, three streets over, says, hi, I'm the group chair of a dangerous structures company and I want to offer you our services at cost. It was like Superman had walked into the building. When we were first allowed into the space, once it had been made safe and the debris was being cleared, um, and we were able to see the sort of this, this shell for the first time, we were kind of totally in awe of the textures that you see on the walls around you. And, and sort of building on the history um, of Battersea Art Centre and how it's been used over the past 125 years and how it might be used into the future and revealing those layers of time um, we felt was a really um, valuable opportunity. How have Tompkins have done their genius thing and created a space which is sort of beautiful, achingly beautiful I think, but also incredibly practical and actually has an amazing acoustic, something the old hall didn't have, triple glazing which the neighbours are very happy about. Before the fire the hall had a, a Victorian fibrous plaster barrel vaulted ceiling and that was a really beautiful element, um, although it was quite inflexible for theatre use. We looked at the original pattern and that derived this lattice structure which is a bit like a kind of paper doily draped in, an, in a vault form. And then where the ceiling is perforate, that now means that theatre technicians can hang hoists, have uh, lighting positions up. We've got a full technical grid now concealed above the lattice ceiling. We had a, an event on the 13th of July, Friday the 13th, because it burnt down on Friday the 13th. So this year we had a little sneak preview where we invited some people in to have a little look at the Grand Hall. And I stood by those doors over there, letting people in and welcoming people back to the space. And people just burst into tears, literally as they walked into the, into the room. The kind of emotional sort of feeling about what that hall represents and what that moment represented and how people came together and supported was just literally on, you know, that motion was right on the surface. The fire is one of the biggest, probably the biggest event in this building's history, certainly to the building, over the last 125 years. And so rather than cover that up, both that moment, that fire, and people's reaction and response to that fire feels like something we want to celebrate and take falls. We want people to walk into this building in 25 years and remember that the fire happened here, but that actually everyone rallied round. People were incredible. And in a day and an age when public spaces are shrinking, these buildings are precious. So it's so exciting that it's, it's open again.